There's a small town southwest of Philadelphia where things move a little slower and life seems to be more relaxed as it was in days gone by. Oxford, Pennsylvania has not changed much over the past 100 years. A simple building, the Oxford Grain and Hay Building, which was constructed in 1880, still stands tall near the center of town. It has withstood the test of time. Its wooden floors are quiet. The large gears that helped crush grain move no more. Scales, once busy weighing sacks of feed, sit in a dusty corner. But this building is a matriarch. It watches over the generations of the Drennan family as they take what was a simple feed and lumber business and transform it into a 21st century success story. Well, I came here out of uh, high school back in 1948 with my father, who uh, originally came here in 1919 as a bookkeeper. He took my brother and I both into the business, and uh, I've been here ever since. I worked here in high school. Um, would go out on deliveries, would go out, pick up corn at a, at a dairy farm, uh, shovel it onto a truck, bring it back here. We'd grind the corn, add some supplements, Prina supplements, put the corn back in bags, put the grist back in bags, and we'd take it back out. Well, in years past, we just had the small, typical feed store. Just bags of feed, just the meat and potatoes of the feed business. And you're, typically your men would come in, your man customer, male customer would come in and grab it. Now, today's age, you're seeing more female customers coming in. You need to approach it with a, a softer touch than what they did in years past. When we first thought of doing the America's Country Store, uh, Purina came with us with the concept uh, and we thought it was a great move. Uh, it was a beautiful building and their help that they put behind it was essential for us doing this. Uh, we, we could never have done it without them. They recommended products that we, we could take. They had planograms. Uh, you know, you could visualize everything in the store. Farina had the whole package for us and made it a whole lot easier to take this big giant step. This lifestyle has been very rewarding. We, um, we came here 10 years ago with some ideas and vision of how we could grow the business, how the area was changing. Um, we, we work together with our families, and I have some children, and I like to provide the opportunity for them to get into family business if they desire. There's four sisters, and then there's cousins that we're working with, and uncles and pop-ups, and it's so nice. It's very relaxed, yet challenging. We all carry our own part, so it's a lot of weight on everyone's shoulders, but we all help each other out. Well, being the fourth generation and um, seeing my pop-up the way he checks people out and he writes it down on paper still, he won't use the computer. Having that feeling that I'm a part of something that's been around for generations, it's really cool. When the kids see their grandfather working here and they're working here alongside with them, they see the service that he offers. I mean, that's a, one thing that they'll always will say, if you ask the grandchildren, what do they see in their grandfather? And they're going to say it's a service. That customer is number one. Customer service is one of the most important things with running a business. If you can't give a customer the service that he wants, then you better get out of it. We saw a potential for um, a new market um, just north of us. Uh, they're expanding a mini mall right now. Um, we uh, didn't want to go too close with another America's Country store, so we're just going to go with a small high-end pet store there. We're going to have some dog and cat and, uh, of course, the, uh, you know, the guinea pig, the rabbits, the uh, indoor pet, and uh, some bird there. This has been really rewarding as far as um, being able to watch your accomplishments come to fruition, your efforts to grow a business uh, have taken hold and, and have uh, paid off. We've grown from a very small handful of employees. We have a lot of employees, two locations. We're working on our third location. I enjoy um, working on things, making them, making them better. I just want to say this is a true passion. I'm probably getting really emotional on you here, but it's a true passion. And you've got to have that passion in order to succeed in a family-owned business. 
Our hopes for the future are that our kids get involved at some point, their cousins, um, there's a lot of grandchildren today, and hopefully there'll be a lot of grandchildren in the future that have an opportunity to work here. And so the tradition continues. From the simple horse-drawn wagons carrying feed from the mill to the high-tech world of today's internet-enabled businesses, the Drennan family will continue to add pages to its rich history for generations to come. We all work together. It's a family affair.